Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is fairly new customer with 2007 Toyota Tacoma with approximately 178,000 miles on the odometer. We started with thorough inspection, very detailed inspection of entire vehicle and I was even able to show to the customer when we were in front of the shop, still we opened the hood, I showed him that his engine cooling fan clutch is on the way out. It's becoming weak and it's not giving enough resistance to cool efficiently the vehicle in upcoming summer. He just purchased this vehicle from out of the state. I hope he got a great price and he's fixing up the things or doing maintenance, needed maintenance, so he can use it reliably in the future. And, and this is where that engine coolant fan is located. That's the fan itself. There's a radiator underneath the shroud. And I would like to show you how you can see that that clutch is too big and it's not giving enough resistance when I'm trying to spin it. And it should be pretty easy for me to demonstrate it for you. So when the vehicle's engine is off, all you have to do, just observe the safety, don't do it when the engine is running, don't try to grab the fan it might chop your fingers off depending how good the clutch is but I will show you I will try to spin it and it should be giving resistance from the spinning or against the spinning and I can show you this one will start actually moving freely and it will start rotating around so this is not the worst the worst I ever saw but it's on the way out. I have already a replacement part unit for him on the table and I will take this one out and I will show you what is the difference on the bench between these two clutches and uh, well, when we will install the new one I will show you and look at it. This is not okay. This will not provide good cooling if he will be driving it in the summer maybe he will go off-roading in the woods and in the hills there can be 100 Fahrenheit and he might overheat this engine and blow the head gasket so we want to prevent that and when we see this we just go ahead and replace it and it's not very difficult to deal with it you see the shroud and it looks like there's not much really space it's actually not true if you look I will zoom on it for you so if you look down there there are these nuts it's a four 12 millimeters nuts that's all I have to loosen to remove that entire unit and then on the bench on the table I can dismantle it and replace the clutch itself and it's very easy for me to deal with it because I have a right tools. So on this channel in the past I reviewed for you the whole set of these aviation long wrenches. I just said it's a 12 millimeter. Look how easy it is to reach there and crack loose those nuts. I have these four nuts off I should be able to grab the whole assembly oh yeah and carefully squeeze it out through here it's right here it's not the best way they dealt with it but it can be removed here you can see the old one. Let me grab it so I don't scrape my fingers off. 
So here in the hand, it's not so obvious like it was on the vehicle. It was way easier to deal with it, but it's soft. Here is the new part. And you will see when we will put it on, you barely can move it. So now I have to transfer that fan. If you look here, there are studs and the nuts. So that's all what it is. Transfer those studs and nuts on the new clutch. Here you probably see it better. Yeah, that's cool. So let's do it. So let's go ahead and transfer the fan on the new clutch. Here you can see the separation. Well, I looked in the package just to find out that the new clutch came with the bolts and washers, spring washers. So they were already prepared. That stats will stay in the old one. And it will need new hardware. So I will use this power tool to install them and then I will torque it by the hand. It should be the same 10 millimeters soft clutch. Because I want to feel it. Okay, now the hand tool. Mm hmm that's wonderful yeah obviously I used the soft clutch but again right you have every single bolt ends up with a different torque the best it's obviously to use torque wrench which I have built here in the arm so it's not a problem for me we working on these vehicles for so long uh, unless it's a water pump or something like that, timing chain cover or something very precise like that, we just torque it by the hand. Uh, I will put her back and show you the difference. When I'm getting to those nuts, if you try to torque them only like this, the pulley keeps slipping, the belt will not stop it enough for you. So I use this KD tool 3471. It has these special notches which will let me to torque or tighten the nut one by one. You have to grab all this, this and then use the 12 millimeter and only now it stops. It's a little bit finicky, but it's perfect tool. Right now, I grab it. Yep, and it stopped turning. You didn't hear that belt slipping. Now I can grab the same tight nut. This is the sound of the dry belt. Totally normal. And again, I basically grab two neighbor nuts right here. Now, Mabel, this is my fourth one. So, this is the last one. What's going on? As I said, it's a little bit finicky. It's not the fastest thing, but that's the way to torque them completely. Done. Now I did all four of them and I can finally show you how good clutch, brand new good clutch 
will look like. Just to absolutely make sure I did all of them, I will retry this one. Because I'm being distracted by you, it's all your fault. Aha! Uh -huh. It was absolutely tight. Perfect. And we are ready for the demonstration. I'm trying to pick up the same spot for the camera. It's not the easiest, but look at it. So everything is clean here, nothing is broken, everything's back. Now look at it. This is when you get a brand new clutch sitting there. You see that no matter how I try, it will not start rotating and that's you might think it's a little difference, but in the real world, that's the difference. That's the one. This is how it should be. It cannot be spinning around. That fan clutch needs to stop that fan from rotating. I hope many of you will find this video helpful. If you do like it, please give it a thumb up and make sure you are subscribed. Have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.